let's see if we can sneak up on Charlotte here. It's Sunday evening, and oh, she heard us coming. She's back here at her hobby, <laughs> hobby room. Hi, Char. What are you doing, babe? I'm coming at you. Uh-oh. Hey, look at that smile. Man, uh -huh. that smile won me. I'm doing you an eight. Over evil. 50 years ago. And it's still warming my heart today. <laughs> How are you, baby? I'm doing good. How do you learn to smile like that? You know, when you're going through a difficult time in life and, uh, you know, everybody's got, it's not that our situation is any more extreme than anybody else's. And, uh, uh, but how do you learn to smile like that? Uh, what's the foundation for that? You know, um, I feel content. Oh, wow. And I really don't feel like I'm going through difficulties. I'm just enjoying our home and quiet time here with the Lord. And I feel so, so blessed. We have such good friends that have just been blessing us. And um, the Lord has just helped me to be content here. I'm good. You know, the Bible talks about whatever we're going through, learn to be content. Paul talks about that. That's right. And he had a lot of stuff to go through. Oh, yes. You know, in his life. Yeah. That's something you got to learn. I don't think that, uh, I don't think the the state of contentment is a state that everybody just moves to and settles in there. I think you got to, it's a gradual process of, of going through hard times and realizing it's a lot easier to go through hard times with the Lord mm -hmm. and with the Spirit leading you and fulfilling you than it is to try to do it on your own. It's a lot easier journey if you just settle in and and travel with the Lord down that road. Mm -hmm. Well, the greatest example of that, I think, is your mother. God love her heart. She is content no matter where she is and always says, I'm so thankful. And I believe that contentment comes out of being thankful. For your circumstances, being thankful for whatever situation you're in. That's good. Um, when we're thankful and praising the Lord, He loves to bless us all the more. True. And more than just providing our needs, He loves to show us favor. Oh, there you go again with this favor thing. That's all right. You, <laughs> I'll keep saying that. The Lord loves to show favor to his children. And when we expect it, then he just loves to dump it on. Mm -hmm. And not just mercy and grace and blessings, but favor. That's the icing on the cake. That's really great. I'm glad to hear you say all that inspire me thank you to see how you handle your difficult situations and uh stay close to the well, lord stay in the word of god you inspire me you really do my what you're calling the difficult situation is um wednesday was seven weeks since my surgery and from then it was another three now i'm down to like two and a half november the 10th um, is when I go back to Hershey to the doctor and they'll reassess all of this and see if I can start putting weight on my leg at that point. And um, I'm just expecting that I can. I am too. It's been um, from the beginning of July since I've walked um, on that leg, so it's going to be different. We'll do it. I think you'll just take right off walking. I think one day if he gives you permission, you'll just get up out of the wheelchair and start walking. That's what I think. I don't know. Uh, You've been exercising it good. We'll see. You want to say whatever, hi to all our friends? Whatever and, it will be, it'll be just fine. And you'll still be content, won't you? Yeah. That's great. I'm good. And yes, uh, hello to all of our friends. I'm assuming you're doing this for Rise and Shine? Yes, I am. Okay. And it, uh, these people have blessed us in so many ways. 
cards and phone calls and flowers and food. Just have blessed, every day somebody's here to bless us. Um, I know that my immune system is seriously compromised right now and that's the only reason that I've been staying home because that's what the doctor told me to do. But I'm hoping that too will change. I have um, blood work again for December, so we'll see then how it goes. That's great. And do you know when you're rocking like that, Ken, taking the picture that the, your camera is going up and down and you're making everybody seasick? <laughs> <laughs> I just yeah. wondered if you knew They'll that. They'll think we're on a cruise. <laughs> uh, you need to sit still, honey. With okay. The <laughs> yes, ma'am. Whatever you say, ma'am. Uh, I always do what you say. You know that. That's good. But honey, I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> sure, we got a lot of friends that are really hurting. Yes. Facing serious stuff. Yes. Could you pray for them tonight? Absolutely. What we're going through is nothing compared to what they're going through. Mm -hmm. And Father in heaven, I thank you that you have um, heard our prayers so many times. I thank you that you have spared the life of some of our friends and have given them extra time. But... I think tonight of Sue, and she needs a miracle, Lord. And so I pray that you would give her that. And, and for those, Lord, who are still dealing with COVID situations in their families or health problems, some, Lord, are dealing with emotional problems. And some, Lord, financial, whatever the need is, you know. We don't need to know, but you do. And Father, for those, Lord, who have just lost loved ones, and maybe it's been a year, like my cousin Wendy, you know, Father, what everybody is feeling and what they're going through. And so I pray that you would be the portion that they need, whatever it is that all of these people need. I pray that you would come <clears throat> and just minister to their hearts. Bless them, wrap them in your arms of love, hold them close, and bless them with peace, I pray, in your precious name. In the name of Jesus, I pray all this. Amen. Hey, Cindy Ryan's coming to sing for us. What do you think about that? Oh, that'll be wonderful. Yeah, she sang this morning. She's got a sweet voice. Yes, she does. And uh, so uh, listen in, folks, as Cindy comes to sing for you right now. Thank you. When you feel forgotten, when you feel you're all alone, when you feel like giving up, when you feel discouraged and everything's uncertain, when you feel you're just not good enough. When it's slipping through your hands And you've done all you can And there's still so much more to do It's easy to forget In times like this Jesus loves you Jesus loves you and he cares about everything you're going through. Your name is engraved on the palm of his hand. And that's the promise you can hold on to. It's easy to forget in times like this. 
when God just seems so far, and I've needed to be reminded too. It's easy to forget in times like this. Jesus loves you. Jesus love.